What is going on YouTube? This is Lamont at large. I am here on this rainy day in Pahrump, Nevada. I am here to show you guys the grave of legendary radio host Art Bell. Okay, this is the grave of one of the greatest radio show announcers of all time in my book, and it's not even close. This is Arthur William Bell the third. Everybody should know Art Bell, and if you don't, I feel sorry for you. If you have ever had a tough night sleeping and you turned on the radio, it's a good chance that you listen to this man's TV show. If you were an over-the-road truck driver, you definitely listen to this man's TV show. If you were interested in UFOs, paranormal, Anything of those subjects related to one another, you listen to this man, Art Bell. He had one of, if not the greatest radio voices ever of all time. He he had a voice that would really just draw you into whatever he was talking about. I often said, after Robert Stack died of Unsolved Mysteries, the only man that could fill his shoes would definitely be Art Bell. And I always, I always hoped that he would take over Unsolved Mysteries because he would be you know he is no robert stack but he he would fit the bill he would fit the bill and i used to listen to coast to coast all the time i still do listen to coast to coast from time to time i'll go on youtube and i will listen to him uh he had quit the show for a while and then he came back for a little bit and then he left again so he would uh, every now and then he would host uh, a coast to coast but now it's done by george nori who I'm not a big fan of George Knapp. He'll fill in from time to time. I like George Knapp. I would prefer him over uh, the other guy. So, beloved husband, Arthur William Bell III, June 17, 1945 to April 13, 2018. Talk show host, father and friend in the night whose voice shall be with us for all time. And it most certainly will. Mr. Bell died of an accidental prescription drug overdose. You can say whatever you will, but uh, Art Bell would often, a lot of times, talk about very controversial subjects, particularly, particularly the ones involving uh, the UFO phenomenon, extraterrestrials, something that I very much believe in people might say that i'm crazy but i've seen him with my own eyes so i believe it this is his wife right here i want to say this is possibly his third wife or maybe second ramona lee hayes bell october 9th 1958 to january 5th 2006 my wife my soulmate my friend my love whose spirit remains in me with every breath i take she died of a asthma attack they were on vacation in Laughlin together when that happened. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure if he remarried after she passed. But um, it's so funny, too. I had uh, I had came here to uh, visit Arbel here last month, and I went into the office, and I'd asked him, I'm like, hey, does, uh, does uh, you get a bunch of visitors coming out here? to see our bell and she says no not really she goes uh, you're like the first person that's actually came out here to even say his name and i i thought that was extremely unusual and weird i would think that people would be flocking from all over the place but you know he's in he's in Pahrump, which is about 45 50 miles uh west uh, of um las vegas so i don't know if i guess a bunch of people you know, maybe they wouldn't want to come out here, but I mean, this man entertained millions and millions of people for years and years and years. And I just felt that, uh, you know, I wanted to come back out here and just pay my respects. The only radio show host that I can think of that possibly is, you know, that I liked more than Art Bell is probably Howard Stern. And that would be a maybe. Howard Stern's fell off in recent years. He's just getting old and not funny. But Art Bell kept it through and through for years and years and years. 
When I was 17, 16 years old, I would listen to Coast to Coast from time to time. And, uh, yeah, so he, you know, he died at 72, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a shame that he went out like that. Just, you know, because I, f I still feel like he was one of those guys that would live to be 85, 90 years old. So I still feel that he had at least a good 15 years left of life. His wife died very young. I think she was 46, 45. 45, I believe. So. There he is, folks. The legendary Art Bell. No man will ever, ever do coast to coast the way he did. And no man will, with his voice, just his uncanny, scary, creepy kind of just voice. No one will sound like that ever again, Art Bell. So no one will ever replace you. And we got George Norrie on Coast to Coast, but he is not even fit enough to wear your used loafers. And that's just the way I see it. Okay, guys. Lamont at Large. Signing off. I'm coming to you live from the Grandview Cemetery here in Pahrump, Nevada. Here to pay my respects to Art Bell. Catch up with you guys next time. Peace out.